top six best vlogging cameras of 2024. Hello guys, today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best vlogging cameras in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review, and more. If you wanna see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. And like, comment, share this video, subscribe our channel. Thank you. Number six, Sony ZV-1, compact and powerful. We think the Sony ZV-1 nails what most people want from a small vlogging camera. Its compact packaging gives it excellent versatility as do its hot shoe, make port, and fully articulating touchscreen. In testing, we found its real-time tracking and IAV to be the class of the field, while the one-inch sensor was capable of producing crisp, detailed 4K-30 video. Our review also confirmed that the ZV-1 offers a huge amount of depth for a compact camera with a built-in ND filter profiles like S-Log2 for those who want to embrace color grading. While the newer Sony ZV-1 F offers a wider 20 mm lens and smartphone-style interface for a lower price, its older contrast AF system and cold shoe mount mean it can't oust the original from the top spot. Nor can the Sony ZV-1 II, the prettier successor to the ZV-1 that features a wider lens but we don't feel does quite enough to merit the extra outlay. Sony is continuing to sell the ZV-1 and you won't find a finer compact vlogging camera right now. Its main strength is the combination of a bright 2470mm slash 1.8 to 2.8 lens with Sony's real-time tracking and real-time IAF systems. Together with the ZV-1's 1-inch sensor, which is larger than those in today's smartphones, these make it easy to shoot high-quality vlogs with pleasing background blur and consistent focus. Number 5. DJI Pocket 2 we were big fans of the original DJI Osmo Pocket. This sequel fixes a lot of its limitations and makes it the best compact option around for solo filmmakers. The Sony ZV-1, above, trumps it for outright video quality, but if you tend to shoot a lot of walk and talk style clips, then the Pocket 2's combination of a three-axis gimbal and solid face tracking could make it more appealing. Compared to the Osmo Pocket, which remains on sale as a more affordable alternative, the DJI Pocket 2 brings a new larger sensor, a brighter lens, improved microphones, and wider field of view, which means you don't have to hold it out at arm's length when talking to camera. Plonk it down on a tripod base or surface, and it'll turn to keep you in shot as you walk around in front of it. Despite its larger sensor, we found in our review that the Pocket 2 still isn't an ideal camera for low light situations or high contrast scenes. That said, it's still a very nice upgrade versus using your phone in a gimbal. We also found that it's improved 4 meg audio set means you get decent sound quality to match. The DJI Pocket 2 clearly wants to be the steady cam option for vloggers and casual filmmakers. It's never going to win over hardcore videographers. After all, it's all-seeing eye is a 64 MP camera with a smartphone-style sensor. How much quality can you realistically expect? That said, when you combine that sensor with DJI's mastery of stabilization and object tracking, something very special ends up happening. If you're familiar with the brand's recent launches, you'll know that DJI has dropped Osmo from its consumer-grade products like the DJI O Mobile 4 Smartphone Gimbal. So the DJI Pocket 2 is the direct follow-up to the DJI Osmo Pocket, and the general idea across both is the same. A gimbal-stabilized camera sat on top of a hand-holdable stick thing. Number 4. Panasonic Lumix GH Sticks Panasonic's GH5U is one of our favorite cameras for vloggers offering plenty of creative potential in compact packaging. The GH6 tops it on almost every metric. Equipped with a sharper 25.2 MP Micro Four Thirds sensor and shoot 5.7K footage at 60 fps. It also offers a massive arsenal of formats, frame rates, and resolutions, including a larger catalog of 10-bit modes, while force fan cooling means limitless recording times. While it's marginally larger than the GH5 Mark II, it still retains a relatively portable form factor. Its robust build is complemented by familiar controls and new tally lights front and back. The three inch rear touchscreen flips, twists, and tilts, while a second video record button on the front now makes it easier for vloggers to start rolling. Connectivity options are comprehensive, although the GH6 does lack the live streaming capabilities of the GH5 Mark II. There's still no phase detection AF either, although contrast based autofocus performance does seem improved from the GH5 Mark II. Stabilization is superior too, courtesy of an algorithmic upgrade that makes the GH6 one of the best cameras for smoothing out walking motion in a natural way. Number three, Fujifilm XS20. The Fujifilm XS20 takes everything that made the XS10 one of our favorite vlogging cameras and introduces features that make it feel like a more user-friendly option for fledgling content creators. 
Inheriting the well-balanced body of the XS10 means the XS20 sits very comfortably in the hand, while our first impressions and testing found that simplified dials on the top plate make it easier to get to grips with what is quite an advanced shooting tool. It also inherits the same 26.1 MP X-Trans CNOS 4 sensor as the XS10 and XT4, which we already know from our previous tests is a top performer. The XS20 boosts things further by offering 6K-34 to 2210-bit internal recording, which is close to overkill. Improved in-body image stabilization also worked well in testing. With a bigger battery on board, we think this all adds up to a great mirrorless all-rounder. Its price hike will be a drawback for many beginners, while the lack of weather sealing is a broader disappointment. The older XS10 is still available at a lower price, but features such as a dedicated vlog mode, which puts neat creative settings to tap away make the XS20 a more tempting proposition for vloggers. Number two, Sony ZV-E1. A good vlogging camera should be compact and easy to operate. Boxes both ticked by the Sony ZV-E1. As the smallest, lightest full-frame camera with image stabilization, we found it a winner for solo vlogging. The ZV-E10 is even more portable, but you won't get the same video quality from its smaller APS-C sensor. Our tests found the ZV-E1 capable of capturing crisp 4K 60 footage in all lighting conditions, thanks to a full-frame sensor borrowed from the Revere A7 as IE. We were also impressed by its in-body image stabilization, which produced superbly smooth handheld footage that almost makes a gimbal unnecessary. Cutting-edge AI smarts also leave very little to fix after the fact. Auto-framing reliably tracks subjects across the image, which we think is a big win when you're recording alone. It's not perfect for heavy use with no cooling vents and just one card slot. We also found it tricky to pick out details on the very angle touchscreen when working outdoors. But if you're a content creator operating solo, we still think the ZV-E1 is the ultimate full-frame choice for 4K vlogging. The Sony ZV-E1 is a video-centric full-frame camera that brings together multiple worlds. The simple handling of Sony's ZV range of cameras designed for vlogging and content creators with a sprinkling of Sony's scene camera grunt and Sony's best quality consumer level 4K video. As such, it's set to be the best vlogging camera around, even if it's a little overkill for most people. With a few additional AI tricks up its sleeve too, the Sony ZV-E1 is further proof that AI is evolving how our cameras work. The integration of AI-powered features includes auto-framing, which crops into the full image and then intelligently tracks your subject as they move around within that full image area, giving the perception that the camera is human-operated. Super smart stuff. Number one, Nikon Z30. The Nikon Z30 is a compact APS-C camera pitched squarely at vlogging beginners. With no viewfinder, it goes all in on a very angled touchscreen. Strikingly similar to the Sony ZV-E10, that setup makes it Nikon's smallest and cheapest APS-C mirrorless camera yet. Despite its compact proportions, our tests found that a generous grip made the Z30 comfortable to handle, even when self-shooting. The 3.0-inch display was also intuitive to use. Flip it for vlogging and the camera switches to selfie mode, reliably tracking your face with sticky autofocus. What you can't do in selfie mode is visually check sound levels. With no headphone jack, this leaves audio monitoring to guesswork. Nikon's APS-C lens range remains limited, but the 1650mm kit glass is impressively sharp. And because the Z30 records, using the whole width of the sensor, you can utilize the lens full field of view. Electronic vibration reduction also stabilizes handheld vlogging, although its 1.3x crop is restrictive at arm's length. But with EVAR disabled, the Z30 can shoot uncropped 4K-30 and HD 120 video, Together with a range of color profiles and meat touches like a tally lamp, the Z30 shapes up as a competent offering for fledgling creators. Compared to its siblings, little has changed on the inside. The Nikon Z50 was introduced in 2019 with a 20.9 MP APS CC and OS sensor plus 4K slash 30 and HD slash 120 video recording with no crop, all of which have carried into the Nikon Z feet and now the Z30 in 2022. Processor power and outright build quality is largely similar too. So we also now have three APS-C cameras that have been designed for beginner shooters. So what's really different? This is the top six best vlogging cameras in 2024. Please make sure to subscribe our channel for these kind of information. Thanks for watching.